Hi, welcome back to video number three of one of the Foxer Triple H tutorials. Now, to start out, first of all, I want to tell you when you do movement inside Unity, there's three kinds of movement or motions. Uh, one of them is by using physics, real physics, like rigid bodies, because uh, Unity 3D uses NVIDIA, NVIDIA physics. The other one is called character controller, which is like it says, meant for characters, and then they just use the regular translation. Um, rotation or moving moving around. If you click on every game object, they all have something called transform and it holds the position, rotation and scale. So when you code you're gonna see me making something like, like making a variable called transform, which is you just means this component. And to get the next component you do for example a dot and then you press position. So transform so you will say transform dot position or transform dot rotation dot scale right now it probably doesn't make sense but eventually you're gonna get it uh... for example you click on the camera all this it has more stuff on it all these are called components so when you want to get a component from that game object you do something called a get component then the cube they just normally have a box collider which is just, just something to collide with uh... right now if you play the game for one the camera is not looking at it and two, there's really no light. So if you want to make it so the camera looks what I'm looking at right now. Right now, this is the scene tab, by the way. So I can just go ahead and go like this. Uh, set up my scene, rot rotate around. So let's say I want to make it so my camera looks like this for now. Now I can just go right here. While, while the scene view is like this, click on my camera, go to game object, and then align with view. And the camera, the preview, you will see will look on whatever you're looking at. Now one thing we're missing is add a light. So go ahead, go to game object, create order, directional light. It doesn't matter where the light is at. Uh, I just like put it up so I don't click it by accident. Now uh, to go around, uh, just in case you forgot, uh, one thing you need to do, uh, know about keyboard shortcuts, W is for movement like this, E it will make it for rotation, and R is for scaling, just in case you never knew those shortcuts. Okay, so I'm going to press E and I'm going to go ahead and rotate it down somewhat, you know, a little bit inclined. So now when you hit play, your ship actually has a light. Don't worry about the looks of the scene. <laughs> Eventually we're going to end up doing that. So right now I'm going to go ahead in here in my project scene, close my little folder thingies. And then go in scripts, right click, create. And then I'm going to make another folder. And then I'm going to just call it player scripts. You know, it's uh, it's kind of good to keep things a little bit organized. You see, I can just go to the main project and then let's say I have plugins and whatever. Uh, right click and play your scripts, create, and then we're going to create a C sharp script. In this case, we're going to call it move. Movement, anyway, anything that you want to call it. For an, if I were you, just follow, <laughs> follow what I'm doing. <laughs> go ahead and double click on it. Now, in my case, uh, it's using mono develop. So if yours is not, you might want to go here, click on Edit, Preferences, go to External Script Editor, click in here, and then when you click Browse, you're going to look for it. So it's going to be uh, Computer, uh, your C drive, your Programs and Files, in my case the 86, Unity, Mono Develop, and then there's the icon that you want to open. Uh, just in case so you know, I'm using version 3.4.1. If you have 3.4.1, for zero, that's okay. That's good. Anything lower than that, sometimes we might you might have errors that are a little bit different. So if you do, you might want to post it out in the YouTube in my YouTube uh, comments so on so I can see what it is. I might be able to help you out. I'll try to go as slow as I can. Uh, the best way for learning is watching the video first, pausing it, and then just kind of copy paste. I'll try to explain the most I can. So now that I open my project. Uh, one thing you want to do is kind of organize your brackets. One thing I like to do, for example, here, I just click right before that bracket, hit start, I mean hit enter, then go down, press tab, so I can start my things in here. Same thing, go down, press tab. Okay, this is called function. Uh, it just, it just like, uh, it just kind of like, a, as we say, like a folder to hold code inside. Functions that do different things. Now start and update are part of Unity. Uh, those are mono behaviors. This is just the name of my class. It says derived from mono behaviors means deriving from Unity. Uh, these are just the namespaces. 
Uh, right now, I probably won't be able to explain it to you. I have no idea how to explain it. But anyhow, before starting, you just go ahead and click on Help. You need the API references, and it should open up. There you go with the script and reference, and in here in the search bar, you just type the word Mono Behavior. And then you just go ahead and click. And then you got different kinds of money behavior. So you got start and update, which are the main ones that we're using. If we're using uh, things like uh, rigid bodies, in this case, we're going to actually use fix update. The difference between update and fix update, fix update, it does it, does it like uh, by frame, but there's like a fixed time going between. Update, it uses all the frames like crazy. In reality, when you play the game or in here, uh, the frames might be jumping up and down. It's not going to be like 60 frames right away or, or 30 frames or so on and so forth. Then uh, later on when you do collisions, you want to do a collision enter, exit, stay, and controller collider, that's for the character controller. And then we got triggers, which eventually we might use. I'm going to put that off the side because we don't need it right now. So for variables, I'm gonna, the first thing you need to know is variables. Uh, the first part, there's three parts of making a variable. First, the accessor, like how you want to access that variable. Two will be the type of variable, and then three is the name, whatever name that you want to put in. So by accessing, I mean public or private. So if I name it public, and I, I, I didn't actually spell out the whole word. Another cool thing about Monodebello, right when you type the first letter, it will give you the keyword that you're trying to do, so you just hit enter. Okay, it's more it's more faster than trying to actually spell every single thing out. You just hit enter. Uh, it just means public. It just means that you can access it from a different script, and at the same time, it will show up in the inspector. If you write private, it won't show up in the inspector. So just remember that. I'm gonna make a public, and then I'm gonna name it uh, float, which just means decimal numbers. You got float for decimal numbers. You got int for regular numbers like one, two, three, four, five, so on. You got game object, transform, and several different kinds. For now, just going to be plug float, and then I'm going to just call it move speed. And when naming variables, uh, things that you don't want to put in front are like characters that you want to use. Uh, something that's legal when naming variables, you can use underscores or in between the letters. If, now, if you look in here, the letter M is kind of like lowercase, and then the next le letter is capitalized. When you see an inspector, oh, the actual M will be capitalized. That's the Unity thing that's trying to help you out. So I'm going to say equals. And then for now, I'm just going to make it equals, let's say, uh, 50. Just like that. Public float, 50. So this is going for the actual movement. Next variable you want to do is going to be public float. And then it's going to be rotate speed. Uh, I'm just going to make it equals 10 for now. And that'll be it for now, yeah. Okay. So, And then this last bracket right here, don't ever go after that bracket. Because you're pretty much outside the script. So what you want to do is go here, and just hit enter, and just let that thing just go all the way out there. Tuck, 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 tuck. Now before we start coding, we need to make we're gonna actually use physics for movement. So, so you just go ahead, uh, you can close it or minimize it. And make it it's, be, it's better to minimize it because that way you don't have to wait for one of the belt to load too fast. Click on the ship and then just drag the script on it. And then you see it will show up and inspect your little variables. Uh, next off we're gonna start getting the ship ready real quick and then I will actually be more faster talking. <laughs> I won't spend so much time. Y'all have a nice one. Y'all take care.